Good day and welcome to the channel. So I'm going to talk about something that happened a couple weeks ago. I didn't bring my camera with me. I didn't think about it at the time. But regarding the 2015 Cadillac that we have, um, it was really foggy. And uh, well, unfortunately, the wife missed a driveway. I'm gonna stick a picture of that right up here. So what happened is, is she drove over a curb and into about, uh, say a 10, 12 foot deep ditch. She was okay, uh, thank God. Um, it just, it uh, really sucked, you know, because now the Cadillac's got some damage to the bumper and uh, the rad cradle. I'm going to put those pictures up here as well. But, all said and done, I kind of straightened out the bumper and put the inner wheel well liner back together. And I just haven't had time to get onto the hoist to really check the damage out underneath. I think she tore the exhaust. It's got a little bit of a, an exhaust leak. Um, yeah. So, there'll be a video about me getting that thing on the hoist when I have time to get it on the hoist. Probably when I go, before I get it oil sprayed at my buddy's shop, I'll go underneath there with the camera and look at all the damage and everything. And there's the Hummer again. That thing has got a parasitic draw somewhere that the dealership can't find. Nobody can find it. I've had several different people look at it. Nobody can find the draw. We're putting a battery in it about every year. Every damn year there's a battery going in this damn thing. So if anybody, anybody has any insight on these H3 Hummers, please drop a like and please comment and help me out because I could really really use the help with this yellow hunk of junk behind me so uh, I think it's the radio it's not original it's an aftermarket radio it's been in it since probably about 2006 shortly after they bought it um, and then she bought it off these people I don't know it was before before we got together so I know nothing about it um, I still got some things I got to do to it. I still got the body work. I got door handles to swap. But it's getting too cold outside, as you can see. It's getting real cold outside. And uh, it's getting to about that time where we got to start doing some cleanup and putting stuff away. I'd like to, you know, get my lawnmower out of the garage because we're going to park the Cadillac inside this year. Um... But I can't get it out of the garage because the man gate I walked through is too small to get my riding lawnmower through. Um, and uh, I can't get it into the backyard, well, because of they were doing some work. And it's been about three weeks. And this is my entryway to my backyard. So I'm not quite sure on how... I'm supposed to get my lawnmower into the backyard to store it. Um, I don't remember the company that was doing it. I gotta look through some paperwork, see if I can find their phone number, call it. But my yard's not the only yard that was left like that. My neighbor beside me, they got a giant hole in their backyard too. But she doesn't have a lawnmower. She has somebody, she pays somebody to come and cut her lawn for her. So, Needless to say, I can't get that out, but uh, I will be getting my snowblower in and getting that thing ready. I think I need some parts for it, so I've got to get it in, get it tore apart, get some parts for it. Um, we'll be getting on that later, and uh, that will be in the next video. Thank you.
Thanks for watching, and please, if you have any insight on this Hummer, comment what the possibilities it could be. Because um, nobody can find anything. I've replaced the backup camera. They said it was a backup camera. It didn't work anyway, so I replaced it. I've never had any problems with any of the backup cameras I've ever installed on the 17 different vehicles that I've owned in my lifetime so far. Um, so please comment possibilities on what you think it could be. Um, it does have electric start, power locks. At, the electric starter is aftermarket. Um, that was in when she bought it. Um, I just don't know what it could be. And it's been an ongoing ongoing issue since uh, I got when we got together and um, I'm just I'm I'm at a loss with it so if you don't s at least start it every other day you leave it for about a week the battery's dead it's fine if you drive it every day but she hasn't been driving it every day this thing hasn't left the driveway in probably about two months since we got it back you know um, it will be moving soon as once I get the garage cleaned up we get the Cadillac in there and then she's gonna start driving this every day well once she starts driving it every day it's gonna be all right I have a high possibility I think it's the radio we're gonna look into a new radio see if that fixes it but until then thanks for watching please Subcri subscribe <laughs> can't talk today the so please subscribe like comment and help me grow and thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and without you guys this channel would not be possible thank you and have a great day